Hi, I'm Bob Wormsley. This is Top Tip Tuesday. And on today's video, we're going to be using NX Push to create a really interesting and stylistic particle effect. And I'm going to show you a few tricks using NX Question to give us a bit more extra control. So we'll start the clock and jump into cinema. Here's our scene then, and we're emitting these static particles from this scene plane. If we go to the Emitter Object tab, we're in Object Emission Mode, we're referencing the plane, and we're emitting from the Polygon area. In the Emission tab, we've got Rate Mode, 20 per frame, with a radius of 6, and there's no speed on these particles. And in the Display tab, we have got them set to Circles, and we're colouring them with a gradient parameter. We're using this gradient and mapping it to the radius of the particles. At the moment, all the particles are the same size, six centimeters, so they're all yellow. So first of all, we're gonna push these particles apart. So let's just make that plane invisible and we'll go to the Nexus menu and we'll bring in an NX push. There it is. In the object tab, we'll set the distance mode to particle radius, whack the strength up to full, and now those particles are pushing apart. But they're pushing apart three-dimensionally. We want to lock them to just one plane so they remain flat. We're going to do that with a question. We'll go to Nexus and we'll bring in an NX question. And we just want to do a direct action. We don't need to ask a question here. So let's go to Actions. We'll bring one in. The default is to set colour. We don't want to set the colour. Let's change that. We want to set the velocity. And what we can do, we can just make sure that all of these velocity vectors, X, Y, Z, are all on zero. And now what's going to happen is they're going to be locked to that plane that they're emitted from. And as long as our emitter object, in this instance our plane, as long as this is on an exact plane, so it's in kind of increments of 90 degrees, let's look, change the pitch to 90, and flip it up. As long as we're in that exact plane, we can change it to any uh, plane axis and it will remain two-dimensional. Excellent. Let's put that back down so it's flat. Hide the plane. Now we're going to start dynamically changing the radius values of our particles, which will give us some nice push animation. So let's go to Nexus, Object. We're going to bring in an NX Scale. We're going to the operation. We're going to use a fall off, set by fall off. And let's switch off this clamping. We don't need that. So now we're going to use a field to determine how big our particles are. Let's go to Fields and we're going to go to a random field. And if we hit play, you'll see that, look, our particles have got now got different radius values. And what is happening here is where the random field, let's just switch on our random field so we can see it. Where the random field is yellow, full yellow, the particles will have zero radius. Where the field is full red, they'll have the maximum radius that we set in our emitter, which was six and anything else will happen in between. So if we go to our field, let's just change some of the values. We'll change the uh, noise from Perlin to something like, I don't know, hammer. Actually, let's go with gaseous as a nice one. Let's increase the scale to say 500 and let's add some animation speed to that noise. And now we're gonna start getting those particle radius values are gonna be animating with the noise, which makes them push apart differently. So we get this really cool behavior. Now we can add a little bit of contrast to this noise by going to the remapping tab. At the moment we've just got this linear curve, but if we come to the bottom and change the contour mode to curve, then come down a bit further, it now gives us an editable curve. So we can add a contrast curve to this. Let's crush those reds and yellows. and Move this yellow across maybe. So now we have got something like, yeah, look at that, that's looking really interesting it could perhaps be anim animating a bit more quickly couldn't it let's go back to the field settings increase that animation speed that's looking really cool right now we've done that let's go to the view settings and just switch off the view settings of that field we don't need to look at that and we'll make that invisible all right so now because the field is animating the scale we're getting this different pushing a part of our particles, which is excellent. Let's add a little bit more movement now. We're going to use an NX Turbulence. So, oh, actually, before we do, this trick comes to life when you render and view this in a way that every particle looks the same size, even though they have different radius values. So let's solve that. We'll go to the Emitter Display tab, and we'll change it from Editor Display Circle to Squares. 
and now they'll all have the same size let's force display and put that on 100 which is the default so now we have got this quite interesting almost fluid like movement of our particles pushing each other away so now we've got the basic setup let's increase the particle count we'll go to the emission tab let's put this on maybe a hundred now hit play yeah we're getting something that's looking really cool quite trippy let's add that last bit of movement we're going to go to nexus we're going to bring in a turbulence the turbulence we're going to bring it underneath the question so that it can move our particles around but if we hit play you're going to see that we've broken that axis lock so in the turbulence we need to make sure that in our um, case we don't want any y movement on the up and down okay and let's hit play again so now we've got that lock back and we're going to change this turbulence type let's change it to curl and we can maybe put the strength up let's put the scale up a bit maybe we'll put the frequency down and we're going to reduce this blend and let's just see what we get with that yeah we're getting a really nice curling of those particles that looks very nice so let's go to our emitter display mode we'll put it on the even smaller display of dots and then let's increase the amount of particles up to say 200 so even more now and we've got this really cool trippy movement of our particles and you get a really cool effect watch if i switch off my turbulence watch what happens bang and then we get this awesome growing of these particles as they move their way outwards so you can have a play around with all the various settings of the turbulence um, and the push to get different looks but that is the basics of how we lock that push movement and how we create this nice trippy fluid animation